leave all these problems aside but the way Jelensky roasted you and was just awesome enjoy this clip yesterday you told the UN Security Council that you either act immediately or dissolve yourself altogether the Pope also spoke about the impotency of the UN what specifically can the UN do for Ukraine UN can do a lot because uh, simply using the words we are concerned is not enough to stop the war. They have to be courageous. They have to be powerful. If we're talking about the isolation of the Russian Federation or different international organizations, there should be an isolation or uh, just uh, having meetings with them, sitting with them at a single table and talking to them on the need to settle the issue and can, repeating the words of oh, concern and concern. We have heard this word for over eight years and unfortunately uh, not too many of our citizens survived after uh, them raising their concerns. <laughs> I just wanna fuck bad bitches. All the nights I never had. You know what? Jab koi virodhi des apne des ka tarif karta hai na guys, to bahut mazaa aata hai. In 2019, you and President Putin you met for nine hours in Paris, but that summit was brokered by France and Germany. Uh, would a meeting between you and President Putin need mediators, external mediators, like last time? Currently. There is no mediation. Currently, we are interested in the security guarantees, and we can see leading countries among those security guarantees, those who can provide us with some security guarantees. I think India, if there will be a willingness to join uh, the list of the security guarantors for Ukraine, then, of course, we would be happy to invite India, because India is a very powerful state in the world. In short, Jelensky is telling us that whatever the world has promised them is not delivered yet. Uh, President Zelensky, you have been asking for weapons. President Joe Biden approved a 100 million transfer of Javelin anti-armor missiles. They are giving you drones. The UK is giving you anti-tank and high-explosive missiles. Germany is giving you some tanks. If you are getting all these weapons and these heavy weapons, are you, President Zelensky, preparing for a longer war with Russia, with all these Western weapons? Uh, it's important to mention that different countries are approving uh, the allocation of certain weapons. I'm grateful for what we are receiving, but you have to understand, we understand that we have weapons when these weapons are supplied already on the territory of Ukraine, when already this weapon is uh, in the armed forces of Ukraine. Before that, it's only a process, it's not the result. So uh, in on many weapons that you've mentioned, we are in the process of having them transferred to Ukraine, but you are not able to fight in the process. You can be powerful when you have these weapons, when you are having those weapons on the territory of Ukraine. Sadly, war is not good for any country, but no one knows any of this uh, Are you at any point now or in the future is Ukraine willing to give up Odisha, Mariupol, Kharkiv, any of these towns? Or, or will the war continue till you get back complete control of these towns and these corridors, especially in the south? In any case, we will fight for all those cities. And uh, today we have full control of, it, of the Odessa and it's not being occupied. Currently, there is a very difficult situation in Mariupol, and of course, we will struggle until uh, we will be able to restore the territorial integrity. Guys, do like, share, and subscribe for more such videos.